Stan Jibalisco here, proprietor and operator of amateur radio station W1GV, Whiskey One Good Vibrations, at your service to talk about a type of ballon called a choke ballon. Now a ballon is a device that interfaces between a balanced load and an unbalanced transmission line. Sometimes it can do the opposite as well, uh, interfacing between a balanced transmission line and an unbalanced load, but you won't see that very often. By balanced, in regards to a load, I usually mean a symmetrical center-fed antenna like an open dipole or a, a loop antenna. Here we show a, a very simple half-wave open dipole. This was the very first antenna I had back in 1966 as WN0OKV Ocean Kilo Victor in Rochester, Minnesota, a 40 meter center fed dipole, 33 feet long, fed with 50 ohm coaxial line. And that was RG8U. I guess nowadays they call it RG213. And, and it was a heavy duty foam dielectric coaxial cable, uh, over 100 feet long, down to my venerable Viking Adventurer transmitter. And then I had a separate antenna for receiving, shortwave radio receiver called the Halicrafters SX-130. But the basic gist of it is that I never used one of these things, a choke ballon. Well, I'm not showing a choke ballon here. I'm showing simply a dipole antenna, which is a balanced load, fed with a coaxial cable, which is an unbalanced transmission line. The problem with a system like this is that you can get what they call antenna currents. And that's maybe not really the best, uh, not really the best term necessarily to use, but the antenna can introduce RF currents along the shield of your coax, causing that coax to act itself like an antenna and radiate. So it interferes with the performance of your antenna both for transmitting and for receiving by disrupting the radiation pattern and also leading to the increased risk of that bugaboo known as RF in the shack. I sure am glad I'm doing this video on a battery-powered tablet PC not connected to the utility line because we're having Another a Black Hills thunderstorm today. We get them every bloody day. And they're not just thunder showers either. Oftentimes they contain large hail and sometimes even dangerous and destructive lightning. Go figure. Stay away from the black holes of South Dakota, all you radio hams. Leave it to me. Leave the place to me. But more seriously, getting back to the choke ballon issue. How can you get rid of these antenna currents? Well, one thing you can do is to put a ballon transformer at this feed point, but it has to be a one-to-one -one ballon. The impedance of this antenna, a pure resistive 73 ohms under ideal conditions, you want to, if you use a one-to-one -one ballon coil or ballon transformer, you'll get a 1.5 to 1 SWR on your line, but that's not too bad. But you don't want to try and use a four-to-one or a one-to-four ballon like the auto transformer ballon I described in an earlier video today, you don't want to try and use one of those on an antenna like this. You'd need to make it into a folded dipole, which would be easy enough to do, by the way. But what do you do to get rid of these antenna currents? Well, one thing you can do is to resort to a balanced transmission line and use a transmatch at your radio and then run that line at a perpendicular or right angle away from that dipole for at least a quarter wavelength and preferably a half wavelength or more. And that can be kind of difficult, especially in the uh, installation that I had as a kid, WN0OKV in Rochester, Minnesota. So what I could have done was to wind some of this coaxial cable, about 20 feet of it, on a coil form, like a big piece of PVC sewer pipe or something like that. Or I could have just wound it up myself into a, into a, into a circular loop type configuration. Here's your cable. You just wind it up, tape it up real good, 
about 20 feet worth of that stuff just wind it up like that and you have what you call a choke ballon. That doesn't look very much like ballon, does it? Well, you know what I'm talking about. A choke is a device that prevents the flow of radio frequency current. And it will prevent the flow of those currents on the outside of your transmission line. Because it, act, it looks like a coil to those currents. It looks like a radio frequency choke. But as far as the signal going through that line, as far as the electromagnetic field that propagates through your transmission line, and by the way, that's really what goes through your transmission line, is a, is a confined and directed electromagnetic field that doesn't even see these extra turns at all. It just sees it as an extra length of coaxial cable. It doesn't know that they're going round and round. But the antenna currents know it, and they get choked off. And the best place to put that is right at the feed point of your antenna. If that's not enough, you can put one or even two more along the, along the length of the line. Just make sure that they're not at intervals of any multiple of a quarter of a wavelength because then you might get resonances between them. So, but, but that is a simple device called a choke ballon. It's not really in the true sense a ballon transformer, but it will sort of force the issue and make the system work better than it would without it, especially if you suffer from RF in the shack. And believe me, when you run high power and you get RF in the shack, you got a problem. Stan Jabalisco W1GV Whiskey One Good Vibrations saying 73 and so long for now.